Good morning, everybody. For this episode, we're going to be checking out three different saunas that I think hopefully will give you a lovely overview of what the sauna culture here in Estonia is all about. You just touch the glass. It's hot. It means that the sauna is also hot. Only the best tips on the Visit Talent YouTube channel. First, we're going to check out the sauna at the Eagle Park. It's a beautiful park full of beautiful wooden pots. This view, probably the best view you can get on the Baltic Sea. After that, I'm going to jump on the car and drive 40 kilometers outside of Tallinn towards the Lahama National Park to chat with the guys from Erd. These guys design and make beautiful mirror cabins and saunas. I don't get out of the city often, but when I do, I always do cherish these moments. Estonian nature is truly beautiful. At the very end, I'm going to be checking out traditional Estonian smoke sauna. Ooh, it's pretty smoky and hopefully participate in the whole prepping the sauna process where I will make the smoke happen, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's currently 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm very close to the very first location, so let's go and check it out. Morning! Hi, Maria, how are you? Yeah, lovely to see you again. Oh, to see you too! Yeah, we are here to enjoy your beautiful sauna experience. Yes. You see this? This is about 80 degrees. It's pretty hot in here, but I want to get my sauna a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna give it a bit more time here. And whilst it's heating up, I'm gonna give you a small tour of this place. The main hero is of course the sauna. It is entirely made by hand and is covered with over 2,500 pieces of spruce and aspen wood. The sauna consists of two parts. One is the sauna itself, which is pretty spacious and fits about six people. It has a wood fire heater in the middle that heats up the sauna within 30 minutes. The second part of the building is the spacious room with a big panoramic window. This is where you dress up and chill before and after the sauna session. The majority of the place is this lovely summer deck here. You have some tables, you have some chairs. So check, the temperature of the water is about 50 degrees and the temperature of the sauna is going to be roughly about 95 to 100 degrees Celsius. So the difference is going to be roughly 85 degrees. Oh, wish me luck. <laughs> it was time to change to something more appropriate and finally enjoy the first sauna. There are over 100,000 saunas in Estonia, which is about one per 13 people. The life of Estonians is very much intertwined with uh, sauna. For us, it's like a religion. We do it also like Sundays, usually. I have a bit of a like this mixed feeling back here. I'm excited to get into the water, but I'm also a little bit nervous. We really like sauna and love sauna. It has been so through centuries and it continues to be until nowadays. It's time to jump into the water. Oh, it's nice and sunny, not too windy. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's freezing! Oh. Breathe! Oh. Breathe! I can't believe I actually managed to be in the water for 60 seconds. And for the first 10 seconds, I could barely breathe. I felt like breath could not escape my chest. The sauna, it's not only the place for cleaning your body, but it's also the place where you can relax, where you can um, forget about your uh, daily worries. In a way, you like, feel like a newly born baby when you come out uh, from, uh, from a sauna. Guys, I'm just so relaxed right now. This is so wonderful. And honestly, I'm struggling to think that this place is only 15 minutes away from the city center and it feels so peaceful, so wild, like you are on the remote island. It's so awesome. We've got two more places to check out, but for now I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my cup of tea and just be happy because this is a truly happy place to be. <laughs> It was time to say goodbye to the Igloo Park and drive outside of Tallinn to speak to the guys at Erd. 
So as you can see, we're already in the car. And the reason why I have decided to actually drive 40 kilometers outside of Tallinn is because Estonian nature is gorgeous. And I think earth cabins in this pine forest make for one of the most unique accommodations that you can have here in Estonia. My name is Jaak Tiek, I'm the, one of the founder and also head of production. So I'm responsible of the product and everything what comes with it. We just arrived at Laharanna, the area where the earth houses and earth saunas are located. And straight away, I'm hit with the beautiful pine forest smell. I believe it was 2016. Basically me and my brother came up with this concept and it was purely based on our own uh, needs. Something like this wasn't in the market that uh, you can go to the nature and enjoy all the hotel um, qualities. Nice bed, nice seats, warm, nicely designed. It's still kind of unique in that sense. And also, we've been to Earth before. If you have not seen one of our videos, which is called E-Car to the Lahama National Park, you should go and check it out. But like, look at this. This is the mirrored house. It literally blows my mind every single time I see it. How crazy is that? The sauna is for us, like Estonia, is like a religion. Everybody actually enjoys it. It's currently plus two degrees. I'm literally running to my warm sauna house now. Oh, oh my god, oh, it's nice and warm! <laughs> there is uh, certain things that you have to realize when you build a sauna. It's like you have to have a right uh, size here, then um, the heights of the benches, very important is the ventilation. You lose a lot of heat through the glass, so the glass has to be proper size and thicknesses and layers. Currently I'm sitting in this mirror house overlooking gorgeous forest with the sun seeping through the trees. It's truly awesome. So if you are in Estonia, if you're visiting Estonia, you just owe it to yourself to get that experience in. It truly is one of a kind. Some fresh blueberries in September. I saved the best for last. This is our third location for this video and I'm currently in the Estonian Open Air Museum and check out the building behind me, especially the roof with all the moss on top. It looks rather magical. So I'm here to speak to the sauna specialist, Marit, to find out answers to two of my questions. First of all, A, what is a smoke sauna? And B, what sort of role did smoke saunas play in the Estonian life back in the 19th century? The Estonian Open Air Museum is kind of a village in the capital of Estonia. There are different villages from different parts of the country. It's mostly in the 19th century, kind of get a glimpse of uh, Estonian country life. Hey, oh, you like it? You like it, don't you? Oh, I'm so sorry, I should have brought the whole thing. I should have brought the whole thing. When establishing a new farm, for example, sauna was very often the very first building that was set up. There are very different types of saunas in Estonia, but among those different saunas, I think the smoke sauna is still in a very uh, special position. We have a lovely sauna master for us here today, who is already getting some wood chopped up to make some fire underneath the hive to get the stones proper nice and hot. A smoke sauna is a chimneyless sauna. It has no chimney. Heating a smoke sauna is a long process. The whole process is going to be super, super long, about five to six hours, and I'm going to be here for each step to document exactly what it takes to heat up the smoke sauna. So at first you make a small fire. It's been about 20 minutes since we put some fire under the hive and you could already see the smoke building up underneath the ceiling. There's quite a lot of it and I already smell of smoke, which is quite nice. Uh, when this uh, fire has burned out, you add more firewood. It takes about four or five hours because you need to burn at least uh, three or four batches of firewood. How is this real? 
the sauna room is literally now half filled with smoke, really thick white smoke, you can't see through it. And then underneath it, it's absolutely clear. If I was to take two separate shots of this room, you would never believe that this is the same room. I've never seen anything like this before. When the last batch has burnt, then you still have to wait a bit until all the smoke is out and all the fumes are out. And then some water is poured on those hot stones, then you ventilate it. It has to be very clean and then only is the sauna ready. Finally, after about six hours of heating up this smoke sauna, it's ready. I've been given the green light from the sauna master. It's also pretty nippy outside right now, so I can't wait to get into a warm, lovely, toasted room. Let's get in. First smoke sauna experience. Here I go. Oh. Oh my God, it's so hot up here. First impressions, I thought that this sauna is going to be full of smoke, but there is no smoke, almost no smoke in the room anymore. It's proper hot, but it smells so toasty. Of wood, it's proper nice. I'm going to chew here for a little bit to get some sweat going on and report back in a minute. I'm proper steaming right now. Oh, this was good. I was sitting with the big boys on the top of the bench there. Oh, it was amazing. But being outside now in the cold air is even better, I'm not gonna lie. There might be even some birch whisk bonanza happening. Who knows? I don't know exactly where does this tradition begin, but it's very good uh, for, um, for blood circulation and it's kind of a massage. My birch whisk now is sitting in the water, soaking up, and it all might sound quite natural, but I, it's not something that I do every single day. So for me, it's gonna be quite a unique experience, and what a way to finish this video, huh? If you think about the, the farm life in the old days, it was really very difficult, hard work, and uh, well, it softened your uh, muscles and your joints and, and it was uh, really something that made you feel better. Once you have tried it, you can't really stop. <laughs> oh wow, what an experience. Is that a birch leaf? Yeah, it's a birch leaf. I feel like I'm a big girl now because I've done it. I was quite petrified to do it at the very beginning, but it was actually quite lovely. A bit of that zinginess from the heat on your body was proper nice. It felt really, really good. And being outside now in this beautiful, crisp autumn evening is even better. Whew, guys, I'm so relaxed. It's probably the most relaxed episode we have ever shot for the Visitalian YouTube channel. And honestly, I have to say that there are no winners in today's episode because all the saunas are absolutely top tier. Iglo Sauna is located in this beautiful place next to the Baltic Sea. It's publicly available and only 15 minutes away from the city center. Erd is all about the meticulous modern Estonian sauna design that is located in this very private secluded area where you can enjoy Estonian nature to its best and smoke sauna. Oh my goodness me, honestly, who knew that birch whisk is absolutely mandatory here because that just elevates your experience to the next level. Honestly, I have to say that filming in a dark room with high temperatures was quite challenging, but I do hope that our shots do come through because the experience was absolutely fantastic. Guys, I do hope you come to Tallinn and get to experience a bit of Estonia for yourself. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm Polly, this is Visit Tallinn, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, hashtag relaxed. <laughs> <laughs>